Hello there guys, this is Trenger Hydra and I am back for another gameplay commentary. Um, I'm starting up a new series and this series is going to be on the game Portal. Um, just a few notes, to begin with, I'm running this on my laptop so there will be a few frame rate hiccups once in a while and you'll see those but just bear with me. They shouldn't be too severe and uh, hopefully we'll enjoy this game. Uh, why I'm saying hopefully we'll enjoy this game is because I'm doing this in a style that's basically blind. Um, except for this first test chamber or two that I did just to make sure you know my computer is working with this game and such and all of that nature. Basically I haven't played this game at all. Hello and again welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start however, keep in mind that all the fun goes? and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please Some refrain clock from up there. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. This is the flame white hiccups problem that I've been talking about. Uh, but it's mainly just when you have reflections of portals, I've noticed. Um, like I said, I've just played through this first section. And uh, everything else is going to be blind. So, um, I originally found this idea when I used to listen to a commentator that did Silent Hill commentaries. And he did them all blind. And uh, I really liked the idea. And that's what I'm trying with this game. To try to give you the sense of like, what is this game? Uh, what's the experience of this game for a first time player? Um, so really after this video, everything will be more or less I haven't seen it before um, I believe there's one chamber after the end of this video that I haven't seen but everything else is going to be blind so yeah I'm just excited about portal because it's a little different you know normally I'm doing first person shooters here I'm Excellent. going into kinda you know please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test uh, First, however note the incandescent particle field across <laughs> the exit this aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. I can tell Gladys is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, I think that's how her name is pronounced anyway. I'm going to call her Gladys, so throughout this video, she's going to be Gladys. Um, which is the computer talking to us. Um, but yeah, so everything should be basically blind and uh, I think that's going to create very exciting gameplay um, but like I said I would mainly do first person shooters and so this is you know kind of puzzle Please style game it's going to be fun super collide super butt and uh, yeah this was this is the first kind of set of puzzles. This I've actually done before, not to you know, confuse anybody. Um, but this is the first set of puzzles that takes, I guess, you know, a little bit of sinking. The other one, you just grab the the cube and throw it on the button, and that's it. But this one actually does like the portals open up to two different rooms, so a little bit confusing Perfect. at the beginning it took me about Please two or three minutes to do this chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test <laughs> yeah Gladys is pretty funny and we go on another elevator Some blue light up there for some reason. Don't know where we're at right now. Somewhere called Aperture Laboratories. And a loading screen. You're, do you're doing very well. 
Thank you, Gladys. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood <laughs> is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation <laughs> Grip, which may, oh, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, This is going to be the end of the first video, and uh, there should be more coming up very shortly. Thank you, guys, and subscribe.